everyone, I'm Destiny. Welcome back to my channel. So, excuse me if I look a mess. I just got done bawling my eyes out, like literally crying because as you know, if you have been watching my channel, I have been fostering some kittens. I had three foster kittens and one permanent house cat. One of them got adopted pretty early on, so I didn't have a chance to really connect with that one, but two of them, I've had them for about two months now. The one that I got extremely attached to is the one that I named Marsh. I at first named him Marshmallow, and then I kind of got him a nickname like Martian, like as an alien. <laughs> um, my Martian. I closely got bonded with Marsh because at first he was very sickly, I actually thought that he was going to pass away in the early stages of his sickness and I rooted for him. I fought for him. I spent my last dime on him. I literally did everything in my power to keep his health up and throughout that time I got extremely emotionally attached to him. I apologize if you can hear the crickets in the background or the crackling of my candles. But I really needed to sit here and relax. My kitten Lily really loves the outside, the outdoors. So this right now, I'm kind of like having dinner. I have some wine with me. I have some oysters. I have a Greek salad. Also some chocolates that, that would match the wine. I even bought flowers for myself. Hi, Lily. <laughs> I will say hi, Bebeche. So here's the update, guys. I sold or adopted out both of them to the same family. I adopted out Marsh and Snow to the same family so that they could stay together, brother and sister of the same kin. They had a lot of chemistry and they really loved each other very much and I thought it would be the best for the both of them to stay together. So yeah, that's my full story on Marsh and Snow. I don't know why I wore makeup today because I was just gonna cry it all off anyways. If you were to ask me, if I would ever adopt or foster kittens again, my answer would be no because you get extremely attached to them. Love is there, especially if you have a big heart or if you have love for animals. And I just feel like I don't want to go through, it almost feels like a breakup or a grief when they leave your life. But I know it's for the best because it's the best thing I could have done for them. They were going to a married couple and they had a nice apartment. They've been together for a really long time. They are going to a stable and very loving home. And I absolutely love Marsh. I wish that I could have kept him. And I probably, one of my candles went out. <laughs> And I probably could have kept him, but when the couple, it's a married couple that I adopted them to, when the couple came into my apartment, they were so excited. They were so ready to adopt Snow, which is the lighter kitten. And I had told them that, you know, my biggest regret when adopting my kitten, Lily, was not getting her sibling once I go back to work or if you work all day long you are leaving your kitten alone all day long they are staring at the wall they're not hearing any noises they are not getting any mental stimulation they're not playing with anybody they're not in, in companionship with anybody and so the one thing that I totally regret is not getting multiple cats at the same time and I gave them the opportunity to adopt both of them. I just wanted to give them the opportunity just to see what they would say and they jumped at the opportunity. They were so excited that they got to adopt both. Even though I truly truly love Marsh and I will totally miss him and I almost a little bit I almost regret giving him up because I really want him but the thing is I rather feel grief over missing Marsh and his companionship than think about like Snow being alone all day while these people are working. I don't want that for Snow. I feel like if I didn't give Marsh to them, then Snow would be alone all day in their house or in their apartment. And I didn't want that for her. It's getting kind of noisy. My candles blew out. <laughs> it's really bad lighting. You can't even see me. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update really quick on the kittens and the fostering process and just to kind of have closure to this chapter. So I'm going to try to enjoy the rest of my meal. Hopefully these candles won't go out again so that I can actually see my meal. 
and I'll talk to you guys next time. I'll do some updates. I actually am now back from Miami. I went to Miami already. The trip was not as expected. I didn't uh, enjoy it, really. Um, but I'll talk about that later on my next update. Bye, guys. He always has to hold my hand while he sleeps. He always reaches out to touch me. And then they always want to, like, sleep together. Because they're Siamese twins. This is how my afternoon is going. Then I'm putting it on him. He's been here for about 15 minutes. Just giving himself daily affirmations. Mm-hmm. You're beautiful. You look good. Amazing. <laughs>